Hey everyone, Christian here, and in this video I show you how to create your own custom VS Code theme completely from scratch. We are using a really cool and easy web tool to design a theme which fits your personal taste, create the necessary package files for the VS Code marketplace to publish it so you can easily share it with other people. If you don't want to start from scratch, you can also use a code generator that will create a bunch of different template files you can easily start with and customize. And we are using in this example the Yo Code Extension and Customization Generator, which is a very a simple and easy tool to start with a bunch of different template files. And if you're running Node.js in your development setup, you simply can just go to the terminal and install the yo and the generator package with the npm command in your terminal. But for those of you who are not running Node.js and you don't know how that is and how to install it, let me walk you through that installation procedure first. So you could just go to the nodejs.org homepage and download it on Windows, Mac OS or on your Linux distribution. If you're running Linux, you simply can just go to the package manager and install Node.js through that. But I was running into some issues with outdated packages on some Linux distributions and probably outdated package versions. So if that is not running for whatever reason, you can also use a different system that is called the Node version manager. And this will allow you to run separate and different versions of Node.js on one system and easily switch around them. And this is very nice for a development setup. I would strongly recommend using this. And when you're running Windows subsystem for Linux, there's also a very nice article on the Microsoft's documentation page, how to install Node.js on a Windows subsystem for Linux by using the Node version manager. So if you're running that, make sure that you're following this article, but don't worry, I will put you all the links to the documentation in the description down below. So this document will teach you to install NVM, Node.js and the NPM inside Windows Subsystem for Linux. You basically need to just copy this command here. So this will download a simple installation script and execute it in bash. And in your terminal, you simply can just run this and this will add some lines to your bash RC file. So make sure if you're running ZSH, just like I do, you also need to copy those three lines here and put them into your ZSH RC file. And now you can use the Node version manager to install Node.js in different versions. So for example, you can just go with the latest stable LTS variant by using NVM install LTS, or you can use the current release of Node.js with NVM install Node. And if you want to see which different versions are currently running on your system, just execute NVM list. So this will show you what the default version is. And you can see that my default version is currently set to version 16.8.0. And now we can use NPM to install the Yo and the code generator packages. So let's go back to the code generator and let's install this. So now if that was completed, simply just type in yo code and this will start the generation for a new template file here. So let's select a new color theme, for example, and start from fresh. Now we need to put a name for our extension, for example, awesome VS code theme. We also can set up different identifier and set up a description for our theme. So a Git repository is not needed, but I would strongly recommend you to set up one because then you have a version control management system and you can actually upload this to a Git repository like GitHub or GitLab if you want to store your project there and want to share it with other people. So now inside our project folder, you can see all the files that the Yo code generator has created for us. And the first file is a package.json file. So this is an important file that describes how our extension is going to work and what the name is, what the versions are, who is the publisher and so on. And we are also going to edit this file later and add a few different options that are necessary to publish it to the VS Code marketplace. But for now, we could just leave it like this and concentrate on the VS Code color theme. So this is located in a themes directory and if you open this file you can see all the different color codes for the editor background for the foreground and all the different things that describe how our theme is looking like when you use it. And if you want to see how that's looking like inside VS Code, you can easily use the debugger to run it in a test environment. And this is pretty cool. So no, this does not work on WSL, but when you run the debugger on Windows or on Mac OS, if you're using that, you can also see how the theme is going to look like. And if we go back here and change some of the colors here, you can see how immediately this is affecting our test environment. So for example, let's try to change the editor background here and let's change this color from something blue to something like purple, for example. So this is pretty cool and you could now just use that to create your color theme and go through this entire JSON file and edit all those things manually. But there is of course also an easy way to do that. So let me show you how that works. 
So on the homepage themes.vscode.one you can create your own custom color theme in a very nice web UI which makes it extremely easy to add it. So you can create a new theme here for example and select if that should be a light or dark theme but you can also browse through some of the themes other people have created and start with this as your base theme for example which is pretty cool. So for example this here is looking really really nice so let's open this here give it a star and let's also fork this this as our base theme and let's start editing this here. And we also want to change the name here to awesome VS Code theme. Let's save this and now we can start editing this in a nice web UI. And if for example we want to change the color of the class definition here we can just find this in the side panel here. For example let's go to syntax here and let's change classes and constants from something like orange to green for example. And you can immediately see how this is changing inside the display window of your theme. And for example I don't like this color here so I can just go back to colors and find Find this in the activity bar for example let's click on this color here and change this to maybe something like magenta or purple something like this right and I also don't like this green here so let's search for that that should be in the status bar here and let's change this green to something like this here for example and if you go to your theme page, you can see which different color themes you have created. You can edit them, you can download them, and you can also see I've created the Digital Life color theme here for VS Code. So if you like this one, you can already find that on the VS Code Marketplace. But let's go back to our awesome color theme and let's download this here. So if you click on the download button, and if you download the JSON file of your color theme, you basically can just copy everything that is in this file and put this into your project folders theme here and override any existing files. And if we go back back and switch that to the debugger you can immediately see that all the colors are changed. This is really nice because now we can actually see how that's going to look like and if you're satisfied we can all just use this as our color theme. So this was easy right? So now if you're happy with your design and you create something really nice, you have tested everything, you might want to share it with other people and publish it to the VS Code Marketplace. So let's do that but before we can actually publish it we also need to create a publisher account for the VS Code Marketplace which somehow is kind of a weird setup but don't worry I will walk you through all of the necessary steps so let's do that. To create a publisher account on the VS Code Marketplace we also need to sign in to the Azure DevOps tools and this is needed because Microsoft for whatever for whatever reason uses the same system to publish VS Code extensions like they do to publish cloud development stuff as well. So just navigate to the homepage azure.microsoft.com and click on start free. Now we need to sign in with our Microsoft account and if you don't have a Microsoft account yet simply just click on create one. And if you are logged in, you also need to create a new organization first. So simply just follow all the instructions in the setup wizard, click on new organization and fill in all the necessary stuff. I've already done that and created an organization that is called CL Creative. And now when you have done that, you need to create a personal access token to log in to the Azure DevOps tools so you can use that to publish your VS Code theme. So click on that small icon here and click on personal access tokens. And now you need to create a new token here, give it any name you want for example VS Code token and set the organization to all accessible organizations. Now you can also set up an expiry date and the maximum time you can set up to expire this token is one year. You also need to select the correct scope so click on show all scopes and on the marketplace you simply just need the manage permissions. So this will give you all permissions to publish, update and manage all VS Code themes and click on create. Now you need to copy your personal access token and store that in a safe location. So for example use a password manager tool or anything like this because you never will see your token again and you shouldn't show this to anyone. So now we are done here and you can click on that icon here and browse the marketplace. And in the VS Code marketplace you simply can click on publish extensions. And now we need to create a new publisher account. So click on create publisher and you need to fill in two fields here, the name of the publisher and a unique identifier. So you can fill in any personal name here or nickname you want to use but the ID is the unique identifier for your publisher account. So you make sure that you're remembering this as well. So in the VS Code project you need to do two things here. The first one is we need to change anything that is inside the readme file. So make sure that you're changing this to any description or this is exactly shown to the user when you're browsing the VS Code theme in the marketplace. So you may want to add a short description here, maybe add a screenshot to show people how your theme is going to look like. But I will just fill in test for a short example here. And then we also need to add some information to the package.json file. So the very first thing you need to add is your 
publisher ID. And this is not the name of your publisher account, it is a unique identifier you have just created in the VS Code Marketplace. The next thing you should add are some keywords so that people can find your theme in the VS Code Marketplace when they enter some keywords like VS Code theme or dark or color theme or whatever. You can also add some other stuff here, but this is the minimum information that is required to publish this to the VS Code Marketplace. Now we can go back to the terminal in our project folder and publish this to the Marketplace. And to do that, we need a new tool that is called VSCE and we're going to install that through Node.js. So install that with the command npm install g VSCE. And once this is done, you first of all need to log in with your publisher account and your personal access token. So just type in VSCE login and then your publisher identifier. Now we need to create a package file for our theme and that is done by executing VSCE package. Now VSCE has created a new package, the VSIX file, and that can be uploaded on the VS Code Marketplace. You can also use the VSCE tool to add any version numbers or manage any minor version changes, upgrades, and so on. So make sure you're familiarizing yourself with this command tool here. But VSCE is also increasing the version numbers automatically for you every time you make an update and publish this to the marketplace. And to do that, we just need to execute the VSCE publish command. Now let's go back to the marketplace and if you reload, you should see that there is our awesome VS Code theme that is currently verifying. So that may take a few minutes until it was successfully verified and then you should see your theme on the VS Code marketplace. And now you can see that our theme has been published on the VS Code marketplace. So let's go back to VS Code and let's see if we can find that in the marketplace. So let's type in awesome VS Code theme and you can see there it is. So that's pretty cool. This is just our test readme file and you can see how that's going to look like when somebody browses your theme and we can just click on install to test and try out our theme here. And now we are using our actual theme that we've just created and published on the marketplace. This is really cool, right? Okay guys, so I hope this video helped you to create your own VS Code theme and please do me a favor. When you created an awesome theme with the help of my video, then please share it with me on Twitter. So just tag me in your post and add a link to your theme where you are to find it on the VS Code marketplace. That would be really cool and I just might try some of your designs on my live streams here on YouTube. So I'm live every Thursday where we talk about tech stuff, so just hit me up there. And thanks everybody for watching. And as always, take care of yourself. I see you in the next one. Bye bye. And this is just awesome, right? It's it's like we are all a community of tech enthusiasts. And we are, of course, we, we like Linux, we like uh, FreeBSD and all, but we don't force anybody to have the same opinions like we do. And I think this is really a friendly, peaceful and a respectful community. And I just want to thank you so much for that because this is really awesome.